Okay, so I'm recording now. So I got this lovely question. Yeah. What is your interpretation of function in A Course in Miracles? The word appears around Lesson 61, crops up again several times. <clears throat> it seems to be our function is solely forgiveness. So he's saying, of course says function is only forgiveness. But if there is nothing to forgive anyone, anyone for, and we already realize this, and, and, I, and we realize this, okay. So if you understand that there's, I think what you're saying is you understand now there's nothing to forgive, and you, you, under, you realize this as an understanding, how does it stand as our function with regards to course, uh, God's will for, being, uh, for us being happiness? Okay. So, yes, that's true. I mean, the Course may at some point seem to be saying your function here is to forgive. And uh, that's usually at the, um, I would guess, if I remember correctly, that's one of the earlier lessons. So it'd be like, okay, your function today is just to go around and just say, God is a loving which I forgive you, God is a loving which I forgive you, God is a loving and that's my function for today. But then later on in the course it says you will eventually realize there's nothing to forgive. Uh, and um, so now you've understood where it says in the course that there's nothing to forgive and you intellectually understand that. Uh, so I think that's what's the question. There's nothing to forgive and we all realize this. How does it stand as a function? So then it doesn't make sense that you have to, your function would be forgiveness. Yes, it wouldn't make sense if you realize there's nothing to forgive that your function would be to forgive. Now that's the thing of um, different... <clears throat> so you've got to understand being in a level of consciousness where you're in duality to, real, to being in an experience of non-duality. Um, so in a dualistic state, I should try to keep my language in simple actually. So when you're identified with your body and your thoughts and you see others as bodies and thoughts, then it's a pro your function at that stage in your spiritual development at that time is to forgive for that day. So because, and, you, and your ego will give you lots of um, people to forgive. They will just pop up for the day and you just say, God is loving. That is your function for the day, um, to forgive people. Uh, later on, as you start dismantling the ego through the Course in Miracles, you'll start to get spiritual revelation, not spiritual understanding, mental understanding, or intellectual understanding, but you start to get the experience that you're not the body, you're not the thoughts, and they're not bodies and they're not thoughts, so you may not even experience that there is anything to forgive, because nothing actually happened that was for needed, needing forgiveness, because you're at those spiritual planes now, where you're sort of starting to shift from being in ego perception, where you're filtering the world through your egos, filters to getting closer to God's vision, where there is witnessing of experience without, being, uh, uh, without it coming from the position of being a body of thoughts. So your experience is you're not the body and you're not your thoughts, and therefore others are not bodies and not thoughts. And therefore the idea of having to forgive someone may if it comes up, would we'll be laughed off in a split second and be gone, or may not even be have, have the experience that there is anything to forgive, that you're nobody and they're nobody, and there is nothing to forgive, because everything is witnessed to be of infinite uh, and, and divine love. So, so to get to those states, actually, you'd have to go through being in the head and the body, and then it's an automatic... Um, spiritual experience or witnessing beyond body and thoughts uh, and beyond from perception towards vision of a different world. So they, the trap comes in the Course of Miracles if you try and understand and make all the lessons fit together through understanding because different levels of consciousness do not match in understanding. So. Um, to someone who needs to forgive, it doesn't make sense to say there's nothing to forgive, because at that level, uh, your function would be to forgive. And as as that as the ego is dissolved into nothing, then your function is no longer to forgive, because there's nothing to forgive. But your function, like the course says at the la I think around the last lessons, you know, you can throw the book away and forget everything, because you're beyond the earlier stages of the course of miracles, which is just resolving your ego. 
now you're into the infinite states and you don't need instruction. There's no ego that needs instruction what to do. You're now just, um, if you like, a vessel of the infinite. So the Course in Miracles is no longer relevant. If, you were, if I were to say it in languaging, the function is, um, what would be, the function is, the function is, uh, well, there, you can't use words for it. The function is just to remain as that which is beyond form and to just let what happens, happens, but there's no ego or body there. That's orchestrating, or having the illusion of orchestration uh, there any longer. So I hope that brings clarity to, to that question. And this full understanding of how you can't really, uh, uh, you see, what, what is true in vision is not true to that which is one in perception. I hope that uh, that brings clarity and not greater confusion.